So what you're listening to now, some mindless cacophony created by crazed headbangers. Swan Lake. <laughs> what? I'm listening to Swan Lake, OK. Swan Lake the Ballet? Is there any other saw? <laughs> What's up? Nothing. Toothache? No. What do you do? I cut myself. <laughs> how? <laughs> and he didn't tell you how he cut himself. <laughs> he gave some good reasons. I fell on the hamster. That was a good one. <laughs> and finally, ah, Jake, I was just telling your grandmother why you wanted to start shaving, but now you're here, you can tell her yourself. Because boys are born with lots of balls of hair in their cheeks and it grows out through your face. So the sooner you start shaving, the sooner you get rid of them. Uh, rid of the hairy balls, yes? Yeah. Mm. And who told you this? David. The same David who told you that the Queen works in the greengrocers? Except on Wednesdays. <laughs> <laughs> I hoped you told him that rages were dangerous and he shouldn't play with them. Yes, Mason, I gave the safety lecture. <laughs> but he said he was never going to shave again. Why? He said he didn't have enough hands. <laughs> <laughs> Georgia, guess what? <laughs> it was all a mistake and we don't have to live here anymore. We were laughing about the boys. What boys? Jake and Philip, of course. I, I was... Well, he made me laugh and I, I told you, Grandma, <laughs> and she laughed. It was very funny. <laughs> you see, I was talking to Philip and accusing him of using my razor and, uh, and he couldn't hear me because he was listening to his tape on his <laughs> headphones. <laughs> Well, it's hysterical so far. <laughs> and do you know what it was? It was Swan Lake. <laughs> yes, the ballet. And then Jake came down and he had a plaster on his cheek. Guess why? Surprise me. He'd cut himself trying to shave with my razor. You see, it wasn't Philip shaving, it was Jake. <laughs> so where did I put those figures in the world refugee population? Oh, come on, this is funny. Why? Because it's the boys? No! Oh, yes, because... it is. It's always the boys. They're so funny, so sweet, they're no trouble. The boys are great. What do you mean? Nothing's changed. It was the same with Mum and Dad. Why can't you be like the boys, Georgia? Why are you so difficult, Georgia? Why can't you smile like the boys? Everybody likes the boys. No, we didn't say that to you. But you thought it, haven't you? And so was everybody else. What did their school reports say? Jake is popular, Philip is nice to have in class. And what do they say about me? Georgia works hard. And why? Because you have to work hard when nobody likes you! Do something. I don't know what to do. I'll get it. Philip? Philip! It'll be Miranda! Who's Miranda? Oh. I don't say that. I'm terrible with names. Ian? Ian who? Who's Ian? Well, I don't know. You just mentioned him. No, I didn't. I said, is he in? Who <laughs> else? Come in. Come in. Philip! Uh, it's, uh, it's actually Roxanne with Die Hard. Nice surprise. <laughs> you got sent on? No. Thought we were going for a walk. I've got things to do. What things? I'm um, going out. Who with? This Miranda. How do you know about her? I'll get there. <laughs> oh, and she and Uncle are waiting in the car. Right, I'll go and uh, say hello, I think. <laughs> oh, a dog. Oh, you obviously like her fur brains. <laughs> hello, are you a friend of Philip's too? Where did you find her, shacked up with seven dwarfs? <laughs> are you ready, Philip? Yes. He's going out with me. Are you? Come on. Where are you going? Swan Lake. That's the pond behind the cemetery, isn't it? <laughs> Come with you. Die hard needs to You want to go to sleep, don't you? I wouldn't mind. You're still worrying about Georgia? Well, she's right, isn't she? We do find the boys easier. Oh, I know they can be stupid and rude, but no wonder she's miserable and not eating. Yes, well, now we know what the problem is, we'll do what we can. But she's obviously felt like this most of her life, and we've only known her for a short time. Can't expect things to change overnight. Where are you going? I'm going to get a hot drink. Do you want one? No, thanks. 
Apart from anything else, remember she was a teenager. Things are never okay at that age. You're either painting the skies with sunshine or you hate the whole world. Tough time. You probably don't remember what it's like to be young. <laughs> I remember it very well. <laughs> oh, hello. I was Swan Lake. Now, Swan took a long time to die. Not at all. Just about. But did you have a good time? Do you like ballet? Not much. So it's not just me, then? <laughs> oh, um, Roxanne phoned while you were out. Yeah? She's playing football tomorrow after school. Do you want to go and watch her? Well, do you? Might. Might? Might not. Right. Good night. Night. <laughs> You want a hot drink? No, thanks. Something to eat? No, I'm not hungry. Well, you must be hungry. Why must I? You haven't eaten anything for days. You know, when I was your age, I went to bed for three months. Wouldn't get up. They tried everything. Bribes, threats. I just said, what's the point? I can remember exactly how I felt. I was totally convinced that nobody liked me. Absolute rubbish, of course. I just lay there looking at the ceiling, wishing I was Lauren Bacall. Who? <laughs> Pull yourself together, they said. That's not an expression you hear these days. I was told I had growing pains and should snap out of it. Of course, we didn't suffer from stress in those days. We only ever heard the word in geography. <laughs> stress was the pressure on the Earth's crust. So I wasn't sent to a stress counsellor. I often wonder how we survived without them. Very well is the answer. They're everywhere now, of course. Any disaster, first on the scene, in caftans and dangly earrings. And that's just the men. <laughs> looking desperately caring and telling us the blindingly obvious in patronising tones. It makes you want to smack them. Any day now, they'll have counsellors at traffic lights helping us deal with post-traumatic stress every time they turn red. <laughs> Do you know what finally got me out of bed? My grandfather. His answer to everything, from a broken heart to a dead goldfish, was... Have a good wash and polish your shoes. <laughs> Extraordinary thing is, you know, it does actually help. Ever since then, I've had the cleanest shoes in the world. <laughs> Thank you.